Hi everyone, I'm glad you're here. Thank you for joining me. The uh, Kamchatka Peninsula there in Russia, a volatile edge of the Pacific Ring of Fire. Uh, just a little while ago, July 29, 2025, a magnitude 8.8 .8 megathrust earthquake struck, unleashing a 4 meter tsunami that flooded Russia's coast and sparked alerts from Japan to Hawaii. The west coast of the United States is also on alert. The cruel Kamacheka Trench roared to life, shaking buildings and lives. Is this the start of the Pacific cat Catastrophe? Yeah, let's watch what happens and unravel the deadly fury. It may be already hitting the west coast of the U.S., they're predicting anywhere from one to three feet of waves that can wash away cars. They're predicting that there will be power outages. Here we have a buoy that's currently going off. And let's see what this one's showing. Just a little blip right now. But remember, um, it's not always just one tsunami that comes in. It'll be multiple waves. 40 earthquakes have been recorded so far. Um, a depth very shallow, 6 miles, 10 kilometers. Um, this one here is a little bit deeper. Yeah, 56, yeah, a little bit more. Uh, 56.6 kilometers. Here, I put it on miles for you, so that one was deeper. Um, 21.8 miles. Yeah, it's all magnitude 5s, it looks. Um, I don't see any 6s for aftershocks. Um, 6.9 right there and there's the 8.8 12.9 miles um, in depth this here is the uh, um, tsunami.gov web page and it shows the different areas and how big of a wave they are expecting and they're saying less than one foot for Los Angeles, uh, Fort Bragg, one to three feet, Crescent City. Okay, the, they're in Crescent City when the sirens go off. If they're not currently going off, you probably should evacuate. We got 4.8 feet. Monterey, less than one foot. Um, Port San Luis, um, two to... Um, 3.7 feet and then on um, tsunami.gov you can see that we got everything along the coast here is marked in orange um, the Aleutian Islands we got orange and red and then yeah they're not giving anything for uh, Japan and all that but you know they're but anyway so Hawaiian Islands also, those are all in red. Now, for Hawaii, it's got a tsunami warning continues in effect for the state of Hawaii. An earthquake has occurred with these preliminary um, warnings. Uh, what else we got here? Let's see. Uh, Midway. Okay. Um, one foot. Um, looking at all the different names here on here. But it looks like, uh, oh, okay, this one here is Japan. Uh, one foot, uh, one inch. They're saying that this earthquake is the sixth largest recorded. Um, aftershocks up to a 6.9 have followed. Waves of 3 to 4 meters hit the Kamchatka coast. And there's been flooding, of course. Um, the population there is only about 2,000 people. Japan reported a 30 to 50 centimeter uh, waves in Hokkaido. Kamchatka's last major earthquake was a 9.0. That was in 1952, and it did cause a 30-foot waves in Hawaii. So, yeah, be prepared. Um, if they're telling you to evacuate, especially there along the uh, coast by Crescent City. Yeah, listen to them. Take their advice. Um, yeah, don't drive through flooded water. Um, they're saying anywhere from a foot to three feet of water there in Crescent City, and it will move cars. 
and expect power outages. This is always why I tell everyone to be prepared for any type of major disaster. So what kind of damage are we going to have here in the United States and along the Aleutian Islands um, up there in Alaska? I guess we'll find out in the morning when it's light out, right? So thank you for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. And I'll talk to you later. God bless you. Bye.